push it. Keep down. Must be the driver of that car. I missed him, whoever it is. Let's get to your car. That spider, shoot it. No, it isn't alive. That's one of Zorka's mechanical devices. But it's poisonous. What are you going to do? Try and catch it and take it to Mallory for analysis. Hey, that isn't like a hard-boiled newspaper girl to faint. I'm not hard-boiled, and I didn't faint. I tripped. Oh. One of those got to Jim Daly. He's still unconscious. It's gone. Where'd it go? I don't know. I wish I knew where it came from. That may be Mallory now. It is Mallory. Two of my men. You all right, Bob? Yeah. Looks like you tracked up. Bailed out just in time. Parker, uh, check that car for ownership. There's enough left of it. Miss Drew would like the dope, too. She'll take you back in her car, won't you? There's a lot in this case that has to be kept off the record table. Like spiders, for instance? Right. Dork has left something behind that's even worse than dynamite. Someone evidently got hold of it. The wrong kind of publicity will hurt it. All right, I'll be careful what I put in the paper. That's swell. I knew it could count on you. Check with me at Mallory's tomorrow. Thanks, I will. What's the matter with your coat? One of Zark's mechanical spiders disappeared under her. I don't dare put it on. Spider? How'd it get out here? I wish you'd tell me. I chased that car from Zarkin, and the driver got away, but don't ask me how. Shall I look around for him, Captain? No, it's too late. He's probably miles away from here by now. Let's get back to Zarkin's. There's an extra Mackinac in the car here. It's Monk. This is a break. The chief wants it. Let's see if we can bring him, too. Listen, Monk, with Zorka dead, you're in a tough spot. Now, why don't you join up with our crowd and tell us what's become of Zorka's formula? What makes you think I know anything about it? You know plenty. Chief pays big for that kind of information. What kind of information? Quit stalling. You know what we're talking about. I can't even guess. All right. We'll take him along and work him over. <laughs> Quick, the army guy. Ah, out from where I left that fellow handcuffed. Uh, yeah, looks like they're taking our prisoner with them. Who do you suppose they are? I think we're going to find out. Once enough. Now, who are you? What were you doing at Zorka's house? Come on, talk up! Well, I... Shall I go get him? No, it's too late. We got one of them anyway. You mean they did? They fixed this one so he won't talk. It sure is good shooting for this kind of light. Are you men all right? 
Sure thing. Check his prints and measurements, Mac, and check with the FBI. I'll get the equipment out of the car. We've got to find out all about this gang, who they are, and what they're doing in this business. Maybe it's the people Zorka intended selling his formula to. That's what I'm afraid of. going to sell me out to Rankin and Aspiring, were you? No, I swear I wasn't. Oh, I was just stalling for time. Of course. You wouldn't dare to betray me. The police still want you, Mung. They don't want me. They think I'm dead. Now with the government and Aspiring both determined to steal my secret, it is necessary to share a very vital secret and knowledge with you. The hiding place of the source of all my power. The source? Yes. If they close in during my absence, you would be able to remove it to a safer place. And there is power enough to seize or destroy the world. And only I, I know how to release and control it. Must be kept insulated. And it would be fatal to open it, unless in the presence of these protective fumes I discovered. Where, where did it come from? It is part of a meteorite that fell in Africa centuries ago. Years of research led me to the belief that some great force akin to radium lay buried there. I organized a secret expedition, attended only by ignorant natives. It took me three years to find the place the meteorite fell. I suffered untold torture before I found a way to insulate myself from the magnetic and chemical activity of the element contained in the meteorite. I risked my health, my life to get it, and to compound with it an other force of my own discovery that made it the greatest power on earth. Now why shouldn't I use it as I wish, even to conquer the world? So remember, if it is ever necessary for you to move that box, do not open it. It will mean death, disaster. You will remain here on guard. Jim out of his coma yet? I've given him a new antidote. Perkins is watching his reaction. Any change, Perkins? Not yet, Dr. Mallory. How long can he live in a state of suspended animation? That's something I'm not prepared to answer. We're dealing with a force that I don't completely understand. That doesn't mean that... Not necessarily, Bob. Any luck tracing that car those two men used last night? Oh, no, not a bit. Uh, all identification has been removed. I think Dr. Zucker must have sold his formula before he died, or else it's been stolen by some foreign agent. I hope not. Can you imagine what a terrific weapon of aggression it would be? I certainly can. An enemy can move in without any opposition. The whole country could be wiped out. I wish we could find out how Zucker derived his formula. 
Say, we might be able to get a clue to the nature of Zorka's element with this neometer, which reacts to radioactivity. Have you tried it on Jim yet? Yes. Any reaction? Only a slight one, but it confirms my belief that the antidote must contain a part of the element itself. That young newspaper woman is here, Doctor. Again? I told her I was here. Do you mind if she comes in? If you insist. You handle that story very nicely without telling too much. Thanks. But the office thinks I'm holding out. They want more. Hey, Doctor, this needle's jumping all over the place. Just since Miss Drew came in? Yes. Take her over by the door. Take her out. Close the door. Bring her back. Say, what is this? I don't like wrestling. Bring her closer. It reacts to her definitely, or to something she's carrying. Empty your handbag. Oh, so it's just a hold-up. One of Zorka's discs. Where'd you get it? Dr. Zorka's house, under a withered plant. Oh, yes, I remember. I meant to take it. That's the thing it reacts to. And that's the clue for our antidote. Pulse is increasing, getting stronger with every beat. We're lucky last night that they only got one of you. It's unfortunate that G-men are in on this. Well, they are in on it, Chief. We gotta act quick if we expect to beat them to Zarka's secret, wherever it is. You think Monk's got it? I don't know. Monk looks and acts strange. Almost as though he's under a hypnotic spell. Hmm. Perhaps he is. Has it ever occurred to you that Zarka might be alive? No, what do you mean? Dr. Zorka has done some remarkable things. It's never seemed quite right to me that he should die in an ordinary accident. Find Monk. Bring him to me. Perhaps the sight of money will loosen his tongue. I know some other ways, too. Our leader is expecting us to get control of this great secret. With it, we can conquer the world. passed out because you had the disc that was planted on Ann Zorka. Who'd want to destroy her? I don't know. Can I take this along to Zorka's laboratory? It might lead to something. Certainly. I'll attempt an analysis of what is on that disc. It might lead directly to Zorka's secret. Good luck. Come Go on. Along. Valerie's antidote secured from the Zorka disc. I hope we can get enough other information so that we can crack this case wide open. Yeah, before it cracks up. Now, if I can just get this formula properly recorded. always have to get here just as the sun is setting. Those long shadows get on your nerves, eh, Jim? I hope to tell you around this place. 
Well, let's see what this can find for us. Uh, watch out for spiders. Needle almost jumped off the dial here. Must be another desk around. Close. So strong here. Now it's stronger. This way, Jim. So strong here. Now it's stronger. Hey! Who is this mug? I thought of my wing last night. He may be one of the spy rays. What's the matter? What was that? The yeoman got so hot it burned my hand, and when it touched that box, it went up in smoke. Must be something pretty hot in there. Don't open that. I'll leave Dr. Mallory open. I guess you're right. Well, we'll take him to headquarters first. All right, come on. I'm going to try to open this thing. What's the matter, Bob? Can't you make it? No, not yet. Well, maybe it's just as well after what happened to the neometer. Bob, I wonder what's the matter with this car. The engine stopped running. Plenty of gas. Hey, Bob, look! Run it down, Greg. Keep her rolling. Shut that spot before we all get blown to bits. 